Hi, it's Mark Travels. It's Lucas from Conchero. In this video, we will discuss trading money management using modern financial theory. Let's get started. There will be a new video each Monday and each Friday, so if you want to go deeper into algorithmic trading and support our work, don't hesitate to like and subscribe. We will talk about portfolio management in trading, because this sector isn't highlighted enough in the money management field. Stay until the end of the video to see how we can create a portfolio of trading strategy with a very high short ratio. The concept at the heart of portfolio management is diversification. To understand it, we need to explain how we can split an asset's risk. We can break it into two risks. The specific risk, which is a risk specific to the asset. It means that this risk has only an impact on a particular asset. For example, when there or news about data confidentiality issues from Facebook, the Facebook stock price will be impacted by this news, but there are no reasons that other tech assets are impacted. The systemic risk, which is a risk that will affect all the assets of a specific sector or nearly the economy. For example, the subprime crisis had impacted a lot of assets because it had impacted all the economy. The goal of diversification is to reduce the portfolio's risk to systemic risks because the specific risk of each asset will be insignificant. If we hypothesize that the assets in the portfolio are not correlated, we can resume this ID with this curve. We can see that the more there are assets in the portfolio, more the portfolio risk decreases. However, in reality, we need more than increase the number of assets. Indeed, the main point is to find non-correlated assets. Indeed, if you have non-correlated assets in your portfolio, you will theoretically decrease the portfolio's risk to the systemic risk of the economy. Moreover, we need to diversify the specific risk of each industry. For example, if you have many technology assets, you will be exposed to systemic technology sector risk. Thus, we need to choose an asset from different sectors. Our trading can diversify your portfolio with varying trading techniques like machine learning, technical indicators, or fundamental analysis. We can diversify the national economic risk using geographic diversification. Indeed, we need to make a portfolio using assets from different countries because if all your portfolio have assets from a specific country, you are too dependent on the stability of this country. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments if you want a video on more complex portfolio management methods to apply to algorithmic trading. It is very constructive for me. Now, let's go on a Python sheet to highlight the difference between absolute price and variation price correlation. First, we are going to explain very quickly what the correlation is. The correlation is an indicator that highlights the interdependency between two time series. The correlation value is between minus one and one. More the value is close to one, more the two time series move in the same way. On the opposite, the more the value is close to minus one, more the two time series move oppositely. However, move in the same way doesn't mean that they have the same intensity. For example, if we have a correlation of 1 between time series 1 and 2, we only know that if one increase, the other also. If one increase of 10%, we cannot say that the other will increase of 10%. 
we just know that the variation will be positive. To highlight the difference between absolute price and variation price correlations, we need to import some data. To do it, we will use Wi-Fi-Net. For the news in the channel, you can check the previous video to see how to import stock prices and fundamental data with Python. Then we put the correlation matrix for the absolute price using the core function and the correlation matrix for the variation prices putting in percentage and rounding the values. As we can see, the results are very different. It is due to the upward trends in many assets because the percentage of variation represents the real variation of our future portfolio, it is necessary to compute the correlation on variation prices. Now, we are going to see a trading application. To simplify the example, we suppose we take only buy position on the following asset. Google, Tesla, Netflix, Zoom and Amazon. Then, we create an equal allocation for all the assets. If you want to learn more about portfolio management techniques, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments. Then, we plot the assets with the portfolio and display a data frame of the annual returns and volatilities. As we can see, we have very good results for our portfolio because we have not only the same volatility as Google or Netflix, but with returns two times higher with sharp ratio of two. So it is a very good way to decrease your investment risk, keeping comfortable returns.